A couple of years ago, I didn't know how to write a single line of code. I didn't know what R was. I didn't know why programming people were so obsessed with snakes. And the only sequels that I knew were movie sequels. But I knew I wanted to become a data scientist fairly soon. So, like anyone else who has ever even thought of the word data, I was bombarded by data camp ads. And not long after, I decided to sign up so I could teach myself a little bit about data science. And the two languages I decided to learn were SQL and Python. So naturally, I signed up for their SQL for data analysts and Python for data scientist courses. And over the course of the next few months of that year, I decided to go through them step by step. And soon I finished both of those courses. I walked out with a big smile and to take my data skills to the next step, I decided to study a master's in data science and AI. It was a conversion master's, so you didn't have to have studied anything to do with data or coding in your undergrad to do it. So I walked in pretty confident like, yeah, I've done a bit of prep work. I know some of this data stuff. And it didn't take me long to learn that I knew nothing. My coding professor was at the front of the classroom just showing us basic concepts about coding and people were answering the questions, no problem, no problem. And I was like, hmm, I know a list is the one with the square brackets. At this point, I'm beginning to panic and realizing I don't know nearly as much as I thought I did. Fast forward a couple of weeks, we get our first coding assignment. It was pretty simple looking back. No, ridiculously simple looking back. It was just constructing a FIFO and, and an LFU, least frequently used. Uh, defining functions that could do that basically. And that assignment stressed me out so much. I had sleepless nights. I had 12 hour days in the library, just everything trying to figure this out. And for three brief days, I considered dropping out of uni because I was like, this is just not for me. Long story short, I got my grades back and I had 49%. My lowest grade I'd ever gotten on anything that counts ever. And it was at this point I realized, hmm, Maybe data camp didn't teach me as much as I thought it did. I did end up passing my master's pretty well with a first, but now that I know a little bit about data science, I mean, I did pass my master's in the end with a first and I've just landed my first job. I can see why data camp didn't teach me as much as I wanted to know. So I'm here to explain that to you and hopefully you can avoid my mistakes and maybe some of data camp's mistakes. So before teaching you a concept, data camp doesn't just throw up a website with a bunch of prompts like, hey, do this, this, this. They actually have a short video with an instructor explaining the concept to you, which I really like. I like that face-to-face -face or face-to-screen interaction. That's really good from data camp. So for example, the instructor could be like, hey, today we're gonna learn how to write a for loop to append elements to a list. But when they do these videos, you get the feeling they're very conscious about how short people's attention spans are. Or they want to be able to say, our course doesn't take that long. You can finish it in this amount of time. So most of the videos are just two to three minutes, maybe up to like seven minutes if it's a really complicated topic. I don't know about you. Listen, I like to learn as quickly as the next guy, but I'm not going to learn much about a completely new topic in two minutes. So the video plays and you feel like you're understanding stuff and you might be, but in two minutes, that's not enough time for the concept to be reinforced. But then the video finishes, it takes you onto the next page and you feel like you've learned something. That's the key thing. You feel like you've learned something. So after watching the instructional video, you then be presented with a page where you have to fill in the blanks and essentially show what you've learned through the video. Again, I like this from Datacam that it is interactive. It's not just some guy talking at you. It's interactive and your work is marked. But like I just said, continuing our for loop example, the problem would look like this. So this is basically just filling in the blanks. You're not really gonna learn much from this. So you can already tell the problem here. It's basically spoon fed to you. To learn a new skill, it has to be challenging enough to make you think, but at the same time, not so hard that you wanna give up. This is just, okay, I know the keywords in what we just learned were for, and I know that there's, there's square brackets involved somewhere. And I know the word in has to be put in there. So you have infinite chances to try and fill those things in at the right place. And if you ask for a hint, it basically gives away the answer half the time. So after doing that, and getting you a little check mark that says that you're correct, you walk away thinking, yeah, I know how to write a loop. But no, you just know that that specific problem needed square brackets somewhere, the word for somewhere, and the word in somewhere. I mean, for example, a lot of the problems we had to solve involved importing NumPy as well as pandas, but I didn't even know what pandas or NumPy were. I just, I didn't even know there were libraries. They didn't explain what libraries were. I just knew that usually at the top of these problems, the guy wants us to write import pandas as PD, import NumPy as NP. And again, remember, this is somebody who knows 
nothing about coding. And that's what data camp is meant to do. Take you from knowing nothing to being pretty good. And then building on top of that, most problems are only explained one time. So for example, if you were learning how to define a function, it's fairly simple once you know how to do it. But if you didn't, it will be, it will be like French. So what they'll do is you'd get your video on how to do it, a couple of exercises involving it, and then after that, it's never addressed directly. So this means when learning different problems, a function might be thrown in there, and you don't quite remember what a function was or how you construct your own function, but then it's halfway filled in in this problem anyway. So again, you just fill in the blanks, and now that you, and now you think you've learned a function well, plus this new topic, which is building on top of that. But no, you just have a really shaky foundation of what a function is, and you're building something on top of that, which is shaky as well. Then there's gonna be something else that's shaky on top of that. And yeah, sure, you could rewatch the same video on how to define a function again, which would be useful to a certain extent, but with the same two problems and the same video again and again, how much are you gonna learn? And yeah, sure, you could take things into your own hands, and go up on YouTube and look for a different explanation, but you're paying money for data camp. It's not meant to be that now you have to do something else as well. Paying that much when there's so many free things on the internet that could potentially teach you it is not the ideal situation, is it? And the last problem I have with data camp on the more structural side of things is that you learn in a vacuum. So in real life, you will rarely be defining a function just to define a function or running a loop just to run a loop. That's usually a very small part of a much larger process, but you, that doesn't come across to you in data camp. And I don't think that's the ideal way to learn. To be fair to data camp, usually on the very last problem, they do try and make a bigger problem that, that incorporates everything you've learned in that chapter. But the problem is, well, problem a lot. <laughs> the problem is even within that bigger uh, problem that they give you, they break it down into little chunks. So it's essentially, let's say, four tiny little problems rather than one big piece of of work that you're achieving where you have to discover how to approach this as a concept. Again, thinking programmatically and algorithmically. So by breaking it down into such small chunks, again, now you're doing this concept in a vacuum, then it takes you to this concept in a vacuum, then this one in a vacuum. And again, it's filling the blank stuff within those small problems. So that's not ideal. And a small little complaint I have is that they don't teach you how to look for errors. So for example, if you have an error in your code, you need to know the exact language you need to use to be able to find it on Stack Overflow, for example. Otherwise you're just like, um, code's not working. But that's just, that. that's a small complaint. There's worse things to talk about. But anyway, the other thing, Data Camp looks to gamify everything. Obviously, this is a really good thing because it can motivate you to keep going, but the way it's implemented on Data Camp, there's some definite drawbacks. Data Camp is very conscious of the fact that people like to feel like they're making progress. And that's the key thing, feel like they're making progress. So I feel like that's why they make the exercise is so easy because then you can go from next level to next level to next level and you feel like you're learning so much and your points are going up and up and up and you're staying on data camp and because it makes you feel good you're going to tell everyone yeah use data camp but are you really learning stuff though so then there becomes that temptation of keep forcing yourself forward to get these imaginary points even when you don't understand a topic that well because if you just go back to a topic and do it again you don't get those points, but if you go forward to the next topic, you're gonna get your points and maybe keep your streak going and all of that sort of thing. So I don't like the way that's implemented really. So it ends up being that you spend your time chasing these imaginary points ex instead of making sure that you understand at least to a decent level every single thing that you're being taught. And along a similar line, there's not enough emphasis on projects within data camp. Projects are by far the quickest way to learn coding stuff and they have the highest return on investments because not only do you learn but you can also add them to your portfolio portfolio and to be fair to data Cam, they do try and integrate projects but they don't talk about why doing a project is so important they're just like hey now we're going to look at some world bank data which is you're not really going to do that in real life most of the time and to make matters worse when doing that project again they're going to spoon feed you most of the things so what are you learning really so I feel like if they took time to construct more meaningful projects and explain to you why projects are so important, people would learn a lot more. And along that same line of explaining things, I don't feel like they ever really taught me what a data scientist, why they're important, about how they can bring value to a business. They just taught me, okay, code like this, if you wanna find out this, 
then you find out this. Fair enough, you can fill in the blanks, but I feel like helping people understand at a fundamental le uh, level why a data scientist is so important would have been great. These are just some of the things I didn't vibe with um, with DataCamp, but it sounds like I hate DataCamp, but actually I like it a lot. I just feel like it becomes more useful once you know a little bit about how to code. So now when I use it, I actually find so much value in it. Now that I know the basics, but that's just my take. Maybe you think I'm chatting absolute rubbish. Let me know in the comments. If you have any questions about data camp, let me know that as well. And if you're new here, Data Nash, I'm a complete data science newbie. I only recently learned how to code. I was somebody who thought I would never be able to know how to do that. So on this channel, I hope to show the journey from somebody who has a complete noob to someone who hopefully in a few years is damn good at this stuff. So if you want to follow that journey, consider hitting subscribe or pressing the thumbs like <laughs> or pressing the thumbs up button. Hey, maybe even both. But yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.